In this lesson, we'll learn to employ the 9A4172 Vicker anti-tank missile. We'll also be using the Mercury night vision pod. Like the previous missiles we discussed, the Vicker requires laser guidance during the entire time of missile flight. The Vicker has a range of up to 8 kilometers and can be used against both ground and slow-moving air targets with low crossing speeds. The missile is fitted with a two-stage high-explosive anti-tank warhead and it's your primary anti-tank weapon. Each AP-8 station holds eight missiles. With Vickers loaded on both wings, you have a total of 16 anti-tank missiles at your disposal. You can turn on cockpit lighting by pressing L. Press the spacebar to continue. Let's get started by first entering air to ground mode by pressing seven. Now, let's turn on the Schwall sensor by pressing O. Good. As you probably notice, it's a bit dark outside and the Schwall sensor is not much use at night. It's a daylight system only. For night missions, we have the Mercury low light level television pod on the center station. This will project night vision imagery on the Schwall display. Turn the Mercury pod on by pressing right control and O. With the Mercury pod now active, you'll see LTV on the left side of the HUD instead of TV. Slew the Schwall line of sight reticle on the HUD to the bottom of the HUD to locate the abandoned airfield. At the south end of the two runways nearest you, you will see a couple of target tanks. Targets like tanks will appear as white on the Mercury supplied video. Locate one of the tanks and lock it up by pressing enter. With the target designated, note that you have a unique Vicker aiming reticle in the center of the HUD. Along the outer circumference of the reticle is a range indication that will unwind as range to the designated target decreases. In the bottom right corner of the HUD is a 9A4172 weapon indication for the Vicker. When you're ready to start the attack, press the spacebar to unpause the lesson. As with the previous laser guided missiles we discussed, you'll need to activate the laser for pressing right shift and O. Do this now. Good. Fly the aircraft to place the Vicker aiming reticle over the Schwall reticle on the HUD. This must be done to allow the missile to capture and ride the laser beam to the target. Remember that you will need to keep the target locked on the Schwall and the laser on during the entire time of missile flight. Press and hold the spacebar to launch the missile when you see the launch authorization cue. Nice job, one down. With overuse, the laser can burn out, so press right shift and O to turn it off when the missile is not in flight. If you see the LR symbol flashing, it indicates that the laser is shut off and is now cooling. You should not use the laser for more than a total of 20 minutes during the course of a mission. Press the spacebar to continue. We're going to set up for a second attack on the remaining target. So best to fly away from the abandoned airfield to get some separation for the next attack. If you have trouble locating the abandoned airfield again, switch back to navigation mode by pressing 1, make sure in route mode is selected, and select waypoint 1 where the target is located. Head back to the target when you're 15 kilometers from it. Once you do, lock up the remaining target tank and press the spacebar.
Depending on where the Vickr hits the target, a single missile may not be able to destroy it. This is particularly true with the frontal armor of modern main battle tanks. In this case, we'll use Salvo Attack, which will launch two Vickrs at the target. Enable Salvo Mode by pressing left control and V. When you receive the launch authorization, turn on the laser by pressing left shift and O, and press and hold the spacebar until both missiles have launched.
Fuel, 1500. Nice job. Both targets are now destroyed and you can exit the last end by pressing the escape key.